Hey kids, so I want to do the virtual children's message, but right now I'm sneaking around the church because I took these, which are my favorite snack in the whole world, but they're actually for Pastor's basketball team. So I'm sneaking around kind of like Jimmy Bond. But anyway, I'm sneaking around in the darkness so that no one catches me, including Pastor or Miss Sherry. Are those the snacks that I bought for the basketball team? Uh, hi, Miss Sherry. Yeah, they are. I probably should have asked before I took them, but I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Of course. Yes, just please ask next time. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're wow, it actually feels a lot better knowing someone knows and being forgiven for it. So I guess we'll just go to the real children's message now. Hey, kids. So just kind of like how I didn't want Pastor Greg or Miss Sherry to find out that I took those good snacks, we do this all the time in our lives as well. Whether we take something or break something or fake something, we'd rather keep it in the darkness so our parents or anyone else won't find out we did wrong. And guess what? We all do this. It's in our sinful nature that we'd rather prefer the darkness, the hiding, rather than bringing things to the light and exposing it. John 3.20 says, For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But God doesn't want us to live there. He doesn't want us to live in darkness because his love and his light and his life that he has planned for us are so much bigger and so much brighter that he wants us to experience them in the light, exposed. And the amazing thing is that when we come into the light and admit what we did was wrong and ask for forgiveness, like I did with Miss Sherry, God always forgives us. John 3 21 says, but whoever does what is true comes to the light so that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been carried out in God. So God wants his light to shine in us and through us so that we can experience his love and his light and we can share the gospel message to everybody around us as well. So next time when you know you've done wrong and you'd rather hide in the darkness, remember that God doesn't want us to live there and he wants us to be brought into his light and to his love, and to his forgiveness. So, let's pray it out, and I'll say a line, and then you can repeat it back to God. Dear God, Sometimes we prefer darkness instead of your light. We prefer hiding instead of being exposed. Help us to come to your light and be forgiven in your love. We love you so much. Amen.